What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blunt, cigarettes, drink, fruit, water. Hell, I don't give a fuck, just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. Because you don't have to, boo, and you're doing for that. It truly means the world to me. You know I love my Virgos. I love my Virgos. My favorite auntie is a fucking Virgo. All right. All right. All right, Virgos. We back on another love reading on what's currently going on in your love life. Love life. So let's get started. All right. Somebody that you was with that was a straight motherfucking hater. You know what I'm saying? Throwing hater aid and shit. That was a karmic relationship. It was a karmic situation. All right. This person was a beautiful monster. Even though they was cheating on you and shit. Cheated. Always cheating. They was a jealous bitch. This could be a man or a woman. All right, don't matter. And if it's a man, that's even worse. Ugh. All right, but they were sleeping around and shit, having sex with people that look like Pokemon, having you in third party situations and having you in third party situations and shit, having secret lovers and shit that look like Shrek. But this person liked to have drunk sex. They was constantly a fucking liar. They lie like a motherfucking rug. You couldn't trust they ass for shit. Ugh. They was constantly judgmental about every goddamn thing. All right, how you been just between you a goddamn habitual liar? Come on now. And you just sitting up here cheating your ass off. All right, just straight hater. All right, they could have been doing black magic. All right, but they feeling very lonely, very lonely. Because they feel that you bring them happiness, okay? Probably sucking the life out of you, you know? Sound like they have very low vibrational energy but yeah you could have met this person online it could have been dealing with people online just apply to your life how it may fit all right but this person wants to reconcile with you all right mm -hmm. but you found a new soul you found your real soul mate and all this signs i'm noticing that with all these signs all the zodiac signs uh dealing with people that's karmic situation and moving right on into they soulmates okay so yeah you met your soulmate somebody that make you very happy that's probably why they hate you all right, somebody that motivates you and shit and inspire you and shit. You know what I'm saying? When you down, they rub your back and shit, rub you some bath water, they cook for you and shit. Okay, Virgo, I see you. This person is very strong, very strong. It can raise, they can work out. Mm -hmm. But this person is very serious about you. They ain't playing no motherfucking games. They ain't playing no games. They ain't cheating. All right, they're not a beautiful monster. They're not fine on the outside, but a goddamn smeagol in the inside. No, they ain't that. They ain't no hater and shit. They really are serious about you. This person can be older than you. You can be older than this person. But you can trust this person, okay? You can confide in this person. You ain't got to worry about they, them sleeping around and having sex with motherfuckers that look like Pokemon and shit. And keeping it secret. But they being a hater. Ain't that about a bitch? This finally you, can somebody, you found somebody that you can actually relate to and shit. All right? Somebody that balance you out. That's balanced. That has high self-esteem. A, a, a high vibration, all right? They're not low vibrational at all, all right? This person wants to build a home with you if y'all already haven't built a home, all right? They want to build a family with you. There could be a pregnancy involved. You could be pregnant. They could be pregnant. Somebody pregnant, all right? But I see you got promoted on your business, and that's what's up, Virgo. You know, y'all, y'all, uh, them motherfucking hands y'all got, man. Y'all can, whew. Them motherfucking hands. Them hands are very fucking talented. Yes. Very talented. Every fucking thing y'all touch turn to gold. Y'all make beautiful things. I know a lot of Virgos. And all of them make beautiful things. Beautiful things. You know, you're very content when you're working. You like to work. I mean, you are earth sign, so. Yeah, you make beautiful things. You know. But let's let's get some more messages on what's going on in your love life. Very happy for you. You deserve it. You are fucking good to people. You don't deserve no bad treatment. Yeah. This other person probably came through some clarity that, you know, you moved on and got a whole new boo. And this is why they hating. And now they realizing how important you are. Like I said, they realize you bring, you bring, you bring happiness to their life. Because they, they can't even bring happiness to their own life. Excuse me. And this is why they're guarded. I mean, this is why you're guarded. You cautious of this person. 
Okay? Yeah, you probably had to sleep with one eye open when you was with her. But you know. Yeah, this person is going, uh, yeah. They, they This person is going through a shock, like I said. They could be shocked that you moved on. They could be shocked about a pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this this is also the parent of your child as well, and they didn't want you to move on and, you know what I'm saying, get somebody else pregnant. And they don't like that. They're not too happy about that. And they're going through their karma, okay? Shit, what goes around comes around. Yeah, that's what happened. And now you met somebody that mirrors you, okay? That's a reflection of you, all right? You guys share the same feelings. When you see this person, when you look at this person, you're looking at yourself. Hold on. Fell on the ground. Give me one chicken. Aunt. Yeah, you ain't done. You you done. Uh, you ain't done with dealing with people that's out there less than other motherfuckers. Okay, having non-committal sex. Yeah, that ain't this person. That ain't this person, boo. Yeah, this be that. Uh, you ain't gotta worry about people pretending. You ain't gotta worry about this person pretending and lying to you, wearing a mask. Okay, you dealing with somebody real? That's what's up. Yeah, and this person, everybody getting this card. That's crazy. They lost without you. They can't help themselves. Mm -hmm. This person is going through a lot of pain. Okay, this person is in a very dark place. Like I said, they hating. They being a hater, so obviously they being a hater on your new, they not congratulating. They being a hater, either you a hater or you a congratulator. Yeah, and they hoping and praying that you come back, okay? They trying to manifest you back into their life. I don't think that's going to happen. Because they still clinging on to you, okay? This person is very obsessed. They could be codependent, but they're definitely watching you. They could have seen, they could have seen you on your social media, okay? When you, you and your new boo, happy that I'm out of it. Okay, yeah, gives you better off. You happy? You you got a better perspective with the new person. Okay, and you better off. You are happy without they ass. Okay, because you got a lot of chemistry with your new person. Yes, you got shit. Cause you you came to the breaking you you came to the breaking point with this other person. Okay, you had to draw the fucking line, and that this other person is broken hearted, sad boots. You destroyed them, honey. They are destroyed, but they destroyed themselves. Okay. It wasn't in your real soulmate. It's a karma situation, all right? Now you got, they, they broke him because you took a fresh start and took a new direction elsewhere, all right? A new beginning elsewhere. Somebody who's nourishing nourishing you, all right? Teaching yourself harmony and self-growth about yourself. You feel comfort when you're with this other person, okay? And this other person still feels that one day, someday, y'all going to be together. Someday. But you tired, shit. You just tired. It was too too long of a fucking journey to go no damn where. Let's see who you could have been dealing with. Most of these uh, uh, cards is dark. This person is in a very dark place. Like I said, they could be doing black magic for some of you. Not for all of you. But they did come out. Or just hey. Don't learn how to love yourself first. You be all right. And whoever come out, it don't matter. It can still be anybody you're dealing with. All right, we got Jupiter, Sagittarius. We got Saturn, Capricorn, Aquarius. We got the Sun, Leo. We got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Pluto, Scorpio. Mars, uh, Aries, and Scorpio. Let me get you an advice card, and I'll leave it here. Still be anybody. Whoever you're dealing with, that's who it is. I'm happy for you. I ain't hating. I'm congratulating. What is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice? All right, we got milk and honey. Let me read it for you. Ooh, look at that rainbow. Yeah. Happy feeling in the air. Happy people. Everywhere. Hey! That's what you singing now, huh? Let me see. 51. 191. 
All right, you enter the sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're the, you're, authentic, you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in both ways. Nourished. They're going to go nourished again. They're going to go nourished again. Okay, yeah, be nourished. In both ways, tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given a gift of nourishment in every form. Relationship message. Sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are still here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and your feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. All right, me love. So I'm going to leave it here. If this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck just as long as you take heed to the message. All right, me love. So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.